Good morning, Floss Tube. It's Julie with Reflections Framing and Stitching, and today I am joined by my niece, Kate. Hi. She's got some updates to her stitching and her fair entry. Um, so today we are going to talk about the fair, state fair, and um, just update you on our stitching progress, which for me has not been much. <laughs> I have not had the time. It is retreat time and we've had the fair and just a lot going on right now so something exciting for our family too huh yeah. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that right now until till it happens if it happens um, so yeah I think we'll just jump right into it and uh, what'd you say we're starting with the state fair yeah okay Kate wants to start with the state fair so that's what we will do because are you sure you don't want to go first well i only have one so you can go first you can do okay. two and i can do fine and then you can okay finish. um a lot of these you've seen in varying stages of completion um but i'll just talk a little bit about what i got and um as you know i don't personally care what kind of ribbon i get it's just that person's opinion that particular day. We did have a new judge this year because someone complained about the judge last year. Um, I, I don't necessarily, it's hard to say this without you thinking I do care about <laughs> the ribbons. Let's just say that she should, needs to learn to leave her personal comments her personal opinions out of her judging. And that's that's all I'm going to say at this point. So my first one, uh, and, and I don't know whether her personal thoughts, opinions affected how things were judged or not. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm just saying I don't really want them. <laughs> I don't really think it's, it's, it should be Thank you, dear. What are you laughing at? No. Dan is Dan is here. We're at the shop. We had a we had to do a family meeting, and I didn't want to haul all my all my stuff home and then back because every time you move things, they can get damaged. So <laughs> Dan, Dan is mocking me, and Kate is laughing because she finds she finds her uncle Dan to be hilarious, he and is, me so. not so much. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so our, the new rule is going to be there's a new judge every two years. So we have this judge this time and next year. And then another judge, and we're not going to be able to, to do this with them making that noise, I don't think. So we're going to pause for a minute. Okay, we're going to try it again. No guarantees, though. The church has been rocking and rolling for about half an hour now. <laughs> yeah. You would have gotten quite the show uh, if we had continued before. So um, we're going to try and step this up. So my first first item I took to the fair was the Mary Amelia's bird. Looks like that. From Quaint Rose. And I finished mine off in this clock from, well it was a clock, from Hobby Lobby. I took the guts out, added the bird. Um, they clearance these out. I don't know that you'll be able to find them, but you can look for something similar on here. So that, that one received a blue, or a uh, second place ribbon. For those of you that are interested. Um, let's see, I can reach this one next. It is Anna Grater from Scarlet House. And it received a fifth place ribbon. And it looks like this. Now this is one where she I think she should have kept her personal opinion to herself. She did not like the red, which is the call for red, country redwood. 
she, she thought that was too much red and it took away from the top alphabet. Personally, that's one of the things I liked about the piece. So, you know, it's my piece. I'm the one that has to like it. And I do. Katie. Okay. So the piece that I have, I only had one this year. And it's called Christmas Tiny Town from Hart and Ham. Hart and And, um, and this is the finished product. Sorry for the glare. It's just going to happen when we've got glass. Okay. And for it, I won. <laughs> I won. Katie cares about the ribbon. <laughs> well, I don't have to win, like, a ribbon to be happy. Like, I like submitting it. Just, you know. Mm -hmm. But I still like to win ribbons. I like to hang them up. It's fun. So but I got a blue ribbon. Mm -hmm. And. 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 Purple, best of division reserve, reserve best of division. Yep. And so, I like this one. I like the color. <laughs> so she was entered in the senior youth division, and um, they don't always give out the reserve best of division. They give out. So they gave out a reserve or a best of division, and they felt that Kate's was um, pretty much on par with with the other. So they did a reserve best of division also, which was really nice for her. This was this was your second year that you put something in the fair? Third, Third year? Okay. Third year for the fair. Um, let's see. That goes down here. Okay. This this next one I didn't get get a ribbon on it. It was a no place. Um, it's October House. I don't have it. I looked. I don't have it. Faded Flag, I think, is what it was called. I mounted mine on a vintage rolling pin. That's the word I'm looking for. Rolling pin. Um, I think I did a most excellent job with my hand stitching. I'm quite proud of that. I wish you could better than what I could have done. I, I, I'm really, it took me three times, but I'm really proud of how I. I got it on there. Um, her comments on this one were uh, she she the waviness of the lines. Now part of that is the fact that it's a over dyed thread and they, it tends to look more wavy. But I'm also sure that those that were uh, displaying them didn't because you can move this around, and I'm sure they didn't take the time to actually straighten it up. But also part of it is the the light and dark in the the thread gives it a optical illusion. She also didn't care for my how I finished the ends. She didn't like the glue. Um, but I had some trim I was going to put on the ends, and I I didn't like how it looked. I preferred this look, which was kind of primitive, which is what I was going for. So I'm completely happy with it. I like it. Um, yeah, I like it. It's good if Kate gets out of line too. Yes, I can. I can. Dan said it's good if Kate gets out of line, which uh, <laughs> she does so often. <laughs> Not. All right. Next up is my peacock. I did. I wasn't going to send it to the fair this year, um, but I did get it done. So I last minute uh, been, uh, sent it. Um, and, again, sorry for the glare. There's a close-up of the, the frame, which matches the swirl, which I think is awesome. It's got a little bit of oranginess in the, in the finish, which also matches the swirl. So I was, I was thrilled with this one. Um, a lot of people were not happy because... It got a second place ribbon and they felt it should have, like a lot of my customers felt it should have gotten the first place ribbon, but I've seen the piece that got the first place ribbon and it totally, totally deserved it. So uh, I'm not at all upset about it. This is probably my least favorite of all my pieces. 
uh, just because I, I don't really care for blue. You know that. Um, it is the Sewing Tomato Stitchy Bird number two from Teresa Kogut. And I just, again, I wasn't going to send it last minute. I decided to go ahead because I didn't feel like there were many entries this year. Uh, so I went ahead and finished it off in a box. And uh, so it looks like that. I added the buttons to make it fit evenly. And it got the first place <laughs> ribbon. So you guys obviously go, have go, opposite tastes. Go figure. Yeah, I, I, yeah. This is my least favorite. I don't. I like the stitching, but I'm probably, to be quite honest with you, going to remove it from this box and do something else with it. But it was the fastest thing I could I could do to get it done um, for the fair. So uh, that is all my fair entries, I think. <coughs> Pretty sure. You didn't even tell him that I made your oh, face. Oh, Dan. Dan's upset because he made this ac acrylic base for my flag to sit on. So that's how it will be displayed. No, didn't charge me. And he didn't charge me anything for it. <laughs> No, he did not. You guys are going to hear him. He's, 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 yeah, praising Jesus right now. <laughs> so, I, we're just going to go ahead. You'll get a little religion with this, <laughs> this video. Amen. All right, Kate, what do you want to start with? I will start with um, Baba Yaga from Autumn Lee Stitchery. And when I first showed you this, I had like this front corner done kind of I didn't have like the door or the steps and now and that was in July yeah when we recorded that video and now two years ago yep. no not two <laughs> years ago I have in like I three this. days I got this done all right there that's it yeah it doesn't look like it's going to be done for this year though huh probably not but I'm almost done. <laughs> you, you are not almost done. Like, if you think about it, I am. No, no, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> and you got all this. Fail, 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 fail. You got all that. That's not almost done. I'm sure it is. Okay. Delusion. If you want to think that, you go right ahead. Um, I, I, again, I, my stitching has been not much lately. Uh oh, I think I lost a needle onto the floor. You have to find it for me, Nano. Okay, so first up, we're gonna go with. Oh, I didn't take it out of the cue snap. Shame on me. Shame, shame, shame on me. Sorry, I'm doing it quickly so you can see it. Oh, it's got to be there. I had two of them. And now I only have one. Uh, Love Abide from La Di Da. This has a sad, sad tale of woe <laughs> and miscounting. It's a sad tale of woe and miscounting. I took it on my little uh, stitching adventure last weekend. And discovered that I had miscounted not once, not twice, but three times. <laughs> yes. And the the boo-boo, the boo-boo was way, way over here. So, and everything from that point to the right was wrong off. Mm -hmm. So when I, <laughs> when I go to do the 
when I go to do the big tree, this, it would not have been centered. Centered. It mm -hmm. would not, it would have been wider over here and, or no, wider on this side. So I spent half of my four day getaway ripping things out. Well, half, yeah, ripping it out and then the other half trying to put it back in in some way. I didn't rip everything out. I ripped out the alphabet from the O over. I ripped that out. I ripped the stuff that was in the middle here out. And let's see what else. I think that's some of the oh the green I had I had this green and this green that had it come out. Anyway, it this has got some personal design choices in it now. <laughs> and and I'm okay with that. I think it's gonna look fine now. I made sure that it all ends where it's supposed to end and that it's all it's the correct width. So it should be okay. I just had to rearrange things a little bit and um, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm doing my own thing. So, but I've, I'm still in the negative stitches for that weekend because of everything I ripped out. So, it's okay. It's all good. Back to you, Kate. The next one I have is my big piece. It's called Kingdom of Books. You can get it on Etsy. Turn your phone sideways. Will the picture get bigger? Um, if, you, if it does your... No. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah? There. So I'll hold the phone. So Kingdom of Books. Okay. And oops. this is what I have so far. That's um, a lot. When I showed you guys Move it this way. Um last time I had everything up to the blue book done and then in like three days I got all of the pink book. Well most not all of the pink book pink book, but most of what I have of the pink book. Of the pink? Yeah. So it's looking good though. Thank You're doing you. a good job, Kate. Even even with all that packed in stitching, your back looks good. I quite like it. You quite like it? Well, you're almost done, right? Almost done. I like your four. Okay. The only other thing that I worked on on my four day, and, and it, it's pitifully small, <laughs> pitifully small, is Beloved. And if you see the the dark green that's pathetic <laughs> yeah the dark green is all that i got done but in kate's mind you're almost done yes in kate's <laughs> in kate's mind I, I i could be almost done not really but well you only have two birds to do well two birds several flowers some leaves yeah a border i don't border, know what border. i'm gonna do about the border you're just gonna do like the I think this is going to end up getting matted because I matted the last Elizabeth's bird. Um, so I think I'll probably end up matting this one too. I don't know. Okay, Kate, next. The next one is my fox that I am doing. It's another one from Etsy. It's just like a fox. Encased in bubbles. Isn't it cute? And in my mind, I had it. more done than what <laughs> it looks like. Your mind does that a lot. <laughs> it does. And so I got this and a bunch of his forehead, this tan up here, in, and a little bit in his eyes. Look at those eyes, though. It's like they're looking right at you. 
It's going to be really pretty. It is, but it's like the confetti stitching, and I want to poke my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't recommend poking your eyes out, but yeah, yeah. I know the feeling. All right, and the only other thing I've managed to work on since my last video, which I haven't put one out for two weeks, so my apologies. It's just been a busy time of year. Manor at Peacock Hill from With Thy Needle and Thread. It's a pretty old chart, and I started it a long time ago, and I get working on it, and then I get it put away, and then I get, but in, I'm almost done with it. Almost. <laughs> According to Katie. If we go by Katie, I'm almost done with it. You got this. So, I'm working on his tail. So, everything from about here down, I've done since the last time I showed it. So, I'm almost done with his tail. <laughs> See? Almost done with something. Yeah, but then I've got, I've got the tree... And the grass, and this there's a house here, and then then the frickin' border. You're gonna have fun with that border. Ugh. I hate borders. That's why I like my peacock so much because there was no. So what? What? Yes, I know, and that, that was another personal thing. Well, it was gonna depend because now I'm paranoid, so I might have to change the color of the house so that I don't get. Uh, I can't see your stitching comment. Okay. The next one, that's upside down, um, is another autumn leaf stitchery one. It's Serena Sprout. It's a witch. Another one. <laughs> There's a theme. There is a theme. <laughs> there is a theme. And it is like this so far. Looks good though. And in people like this, I can. I got yesterday. I did all of this and a little bit. Looks good. So I'm quite happy with it. I, I'm, I'm almost done with this one too. <laughs> <laughs> I just have the rest of her skirt, a few plants. We really are gonna have to work on her definition of almost done. My I think it it's needs like it. it's like your own. Definition. Uh -huh. You could say I'm almost done and be literally almost done. I could say I'm almost done and be just starting. Okay. So, yeah. Alright. That's how you want to look at it. I, I, that's it for me. So you're up, girl. Then, final one is finish, actually. Oh, she's got to finish. And it's my Christmas parade. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And the finish. Looks like this. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to gouge it with my thumb. Very cute. I love those snooty little animals following behind Santa. In the time that I last showed you this, I got both borders done. This, the deer, the rest of the heart, and the letters over here. Done. Santa needs to lay off the cookies. <laughs> kind of. Santa's a jolly old soul. But yeah, that's my finish. And I'm quite Congratulations happy on your finish. Thank Are you, you leaving it here so that I can? Yeah. Okay, I'll add it to my pile. <laughs> <laughs> Since I hurt my back, I haven't been framing again. So I'm hoping maybe now that the needlework show has calmed down a little bit, I'm still waiting for some straggling orders. Uh, one got sent to the wrong address. One arrived at the Omaha Distribution Center on the 1st of September, and that is as far as it's made it. It's not. Katie, do you have a picture of my fish on your phone? I do. Um, Dan and Katie went fishing Friday night. Make sure you tell them it's two ounces bigger than yours. It's not. <laughs> this, How would you know? You don't have a scale? This was Dan's fish. You gotta get the... We think it was a trout. No, it was it's a not a trout. Well, the, it, it does well, not look like it? a bass. A bass? It's, it does not look like one, a bass. Well, whatever it is, it's two ounces bigger than yours. It's not. <laughs> mine. Mine was pretty big. It was. This. 
was mine. Gotta get the ring light out of there. I don't know. Hers looks bigger. Mine looks bigger. Hers looks bigger. I'm better. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> so, um, Kate, so Katie's, me. yeah, Katie's gonna, she's, her, her parents were so proud of her ribbons and uh, for, from the fairs. So they're buying her a chart and then Kate's going to buy a chart. So she thought she'd show you what she's buying. This is the one my parents are buying for me. It's autumn, another Autumn Lane Stitcher one. Do you, do you think she likes Autumn Lane? <laughs> it's called Autumn Town. This one's been very popular. Yeah, I like it. It is. I like it. I think it looks really good when it's finished. <laughs> when I get it started. <laughs> Really? When it's almost finished? When it's almost finished. Once I get it started. It'll be really good. Yeah. And then the one yeah, yeah. I'm buying is Lola Crow. Uh, the Deadly Aquarium. This one was a stitch along originally, and now it's come out as the full, full chart. And what I think is really cool is that Lola, I don't know if that's her name, um... But the designer gives you all the names of the fish and the creatures and the plants that are in pick, featured in the in the design, and she tells you a little bit about them. She gives you fun facts. And I, that, danger level. That danger level, yeah. I think that she, she she's amazing for doing. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work, and I think it's amazing. So, good for you. So, we haven't picked fabric yet for either of those. I have, like, a stockpile of charts. I have, like, <laughs> now, have a stash. I have, like, ten probably now. You have a stash. Yes. Do you know what I'm going to do for, you know, how at retreat we usually do, a, like, a mini mania yeah. thing where you have four new starts and then uh, work on your whips and change them out every two hours. Yeah. Well, I decided, you know, we do have some monogamous stitchers in the group. Yeah. So this this fall, I'm going to throw out a monogamy challenge. Oh. Yeah. One. Just one for the entire four four days. I'm not sure I could do that. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna see how many of us are still sane by the end of the four days. <laughs> are you gonna do that? I'm gonna do it. Oh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try. I'll probably have a couple others in my bag just in case. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start my next peacock. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start my peacock because it's got lots of pretty colors in it, and there's no borders, there's no houses, there's no alphabet, so. I think I can do it. For four mm -hmm. days, I think I can do it. Okay. I look forward to seeing it. <laughs> It'll be almost done when I get back it, from retreat. It probably will be. <laughs> four I think, days. I think Katie should, but not get, but not get well, but I'm going to sleep, stitch while you're doing it. Well, retreat. while I'm at retreat? Yeah. She should only stitch on one thing? <clears throat> That's what I said. Oh, which one? Which one do you want me to stitch on? No, which one would you want oh. to stitch on just for? I want you to stitch on one that you started so maybe you can finish it. One that I'm starting? I just started. started. Already. That's already one that started. started. One of yours that's almost yeah. finished. Which one? If you could only stitch on that. one for four days, Kate. Four long days. I probably choose this one because this one is so much fun. It has so many colors. Mm -hmm. They're very pretty. Yeah. And it goes so well in my room. You could get it almost done. I could get it, like, <laughs> this much closer to me. <laughs> this much closer. Oh, yeah. I don't know. You could get it almost done. Yeah. But you have school on two of those days, probably. That would slow you down a little bit. I'm challenging you. Okay. The four days I'm at retreat, October 10th through the 13th. One piece. Okay. That's all you're going to work on. Then we'll do a, a video to see how you did. <laughs> <laughs> see how I did. <laughs> Can I do it? The winner gets to buy a new chart. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, you like that idea? <laughs> sure. Ah, huh. that sounds like a great idea. So do you think I can do it? 
Say so in the comments whether you think I'm going to be able to do it or not. I think you can since you came up with the idea, you better. I come up with ideas all the time that I don't follow through on. I'm one of those people. That's a bad leader. I make the ideas up and then I drop out. You're just an ideas one. I'm an ideas one. That's right. <laughs> yep. Hey, Dan, what have you stitched on lately? Not a knit. Milch. Diddly Nine. squat. <laughs> Diddly squat. But he's still working on the pantry. And he's kind of working in the kitchen. So I'm not going to nag on him for not stitching. He's got things to do and might have more coming up in the future. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if this video is completely finished or not. But I think, I think it's finished for here. We've shown everything. We have a mess. I got to take Kate home. Orphanage. <laughs> got to take Kate home. Um, and then I got to work on, you know, I actually can't work on that retreat stuff. Until the material comes in. So I don't know what I'll do this afternoon. Well, depending on whether Louie and we're babysitting Louie and Charlie again. So if they are, go home early enough, I'll have to clean up the dog hair because it's everywhere. Beagles. They're so sweet. Charlie is so sweet, but the hair is out of this world. Out of this world. You just have no idea, Kate. We, our neighbor had a beagle. We yeah. just read it. It's the end. Yeah. And your hand would be just, just white. Ball. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to stop this here. I'll film an, an ending at home, I think. So, oh, I forgot that one. I forgot one of my fair things. Okay, so this is from Barbara Anna. It's called Dancer. Um, I finished it a little while ago, but just framed it for the fair. And this is how I framed it. So I, I did it on the keys because there's keys hanging from Dancer's ear. Um, the judge did not like, there's one spot right there. You can see one of those white polka dots through it. I'm just giving you these hints in case you decide to enter the fair. Just so you know, things that, that a judge might or might not look at. Um, she did not like that she can see the white dot through the neck. I saw it. Um, well, I suppose I could have used another, another thread, you know, and stitched with three strands, but it would have been pretty bulky. And so, again, it didn't bother me enough to do anything with, but apparently it bothered her. But Dan helped me figure out the, because this had to be, you know, Connie was asking me, I haven't finished a sentence in the last three sentences. <laughs> okay, let me start with Connie. Connie's first thing was, why weren't, why weren't the chains lined up under each other? And uh, Kit said, well, probably something to do with the balance, which is exactly right. So that's why these are not lined up one underneath the other, because the center of gravity would not have, it was not there. Um, Dan had to help me figure out how to do this so that it would hang straight. I got my slide rule out. We figured it out. It, it was a it was a challenge. Yeah. It was a challenge. And this isn't that that thick and so he had to drill drill into it in order for us to get the screw eyes yeah, in. Yeah, she didn't think I could do it. I did not I had no faith in you. Nope. I did not think it could be drilled into. But it did and I'm really I'm very pleased with how it turned out. And it got a uh, second place ribbon. So, thanks for showing. I totally forgot that one. 
Okay, now we're going to be done. And I will finish an out or film an outro later. And hopefully you'll see this one tomorrow. Do you have any final words, Kate? No. No? No final words? Okay. Well, thanks for doing a video with me. I no, appreciate it. I had fun. You had fun? They enjoyed seeing you the last time. Did so, they? yeah. Oh, they did. That's fun. So, anyway, we will talk to you later. Bye. 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 Well, it's the next day. I did not get back to the video yesterday, obviously. I hate that this looks crooked. <laughs> Shall I lean this way? No, that doesn't help. Um, came home. Alex and Emily were here. So we visited with them. Like I said in yesterday's video, I, we were babysitting them. So they were here. Um, visited with them a little while. And then they left. What did it, then what did I do? I worked on retreat. what I could do of the retreat stuff, I did. My fabric has been shipped, so uh, hopefully that'll be here by the end of the week and I can finish that particular project up next weekend because the clock is ticking. I still don't have the, the pattern, um, so I'm panicking a little bit about that. Um, Hopefully it will come in before retreat. I've ordered the floss. I've ordered fabric for it. I just would have to get everything put together. And that possibly may not happen until after retreat. I don't know. I'm stressing about it a little bit in case you can't tell. So... Anyway, I, I don't have a whole lot. Um, I, I have antique stuff, but I'm going to hold off on that because Connie will be back in a couple of weeks for a retreat, and she left her antique stuff here uh, so we could do it together. And uh, But I will tell you a little bit about one of our antiquing adventures that we went on. So, so we went out to McCook, Nebraska for a girls weekend of stitching or six of us that try and go every year and um, it, this was a new new place for us I wasn't gonna go because of my back and and my ankles I, I don't know if I've mentioned the ankle problem the medicine that I'm taking to help the heart issue one of the rare side effects is Achilles tendonitis and I so I have Achilles tendonitis in both of my ankles and it makes makes moving painful um, as long as I stay moving like constantly moving it's not so bad but boy when you sit down and then get back up and stairs are just painful, period. Um, so I wasn't going to go because this place was stairs. And then with my back that went out, uh, I didn't think sitting in this kind of chair was going to be beneficial. Which it proved to not be beneficial. I cannot sit in this kind of chair for very long with my head down because it all just kind of goes down my back. So... Um, but there's also that little thing called FOMO. <laughs> I did not want to miss out. Um, I had to miss out on, on market last year, or this this year, back in March, because of the COVID thing. So I didn't want to miss out on this trip. So at the last minute, literally, we they were leaving on Friday, and I decided on, like, Thursday afternoon. Because um, first I was going, then I wasn't going decision making is not my forte <laughs> so in the end I went they were all very good to me helped me with um, carrying my bags and stuff uh, they gave me a good bed I did have to go up the stairs the, there was a bedroom on the main floor 
but I didn't think it was going to work for me. So they gave me a good bed upstairs on the second floor, and uh, I only had to make the trip up and down, you know, once a day. So that turned out pretty good. Um, FYI, if you were here for this stitching, probably you can go ahead and go on about your day because none of this is really going to be very stitching related. Um, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you'll come back again. Now, back to the story. So, I went and had had a great time. Glad I went. I could not sit in these kind of chairs. I, about 30 minutes in of sitting with my head down and stitching um, and I was done. So I was just going to, you know, sit and visit. Uh, but they decided that that wasn't right. So they literally carried in the reclining chair from the living room into the dining room and set me up in that, which enabled me to lean, lean back and I don't have to turn my, put my head down so much. So that was really, really good. And uh, I really, really appreciated all of their help for the weekend. I was glad I was able to go. And, but on, on our trip, both coming and going, we stopped at a couple antique places. Um, so we stopped in Kearney on the way there for lunch and an antique store. Um, bought a couple of things there. It wasn't the greatest, meaning it wasn't the, lit very well. It was, wasn't. Oh, what's the word I want to use? It wasn't curated very, very nicely. You know, it was just kind of thrown into the little booth. And I use the word loosely, booth. Um, but I found a few, a couple of things, and I think everybody found a couple of things. And uh, so then we went on our, on our way to McCook. We stayed at the Garrett house in case you're wondering or you're ever in McCook. It's a nice, very nice place. Um, I, I would recommend it. We had a little problem with the refrigerator um, and ended up not being able to put anything in it because it absorbed whatever the smell was in the refrigerator and it smelled very chemically. And when I like would breathe it in, it would actually make my tongue burn. So we had ended up having to eat out all the time had some very good food. The food, we, we, we scored big on the food. Um, I'm not big on going out, mostly because I'm pretty picky. Um, but we had some very good food. And um, on the way home, we hit a couple, couple of thrift stores in McCook, bought a few things. And then on the way home, there were two antique stores that were listed outside of Lexington, Nebraska. Well, one was not in Lexington, sorry. I, it was in, I don't know, Hampton, Nebraska maybe. And we, we pulled up to the building and we were waiting for, for the second car because Doreen and Pam and Lori were in, this, in, the, in Doreen's truck. Connie, Rosie, and I were in Rosie's car. And we were kind of sitting outside, waiting for them to find us. And I was kind of eyeballing the, the building, kind of like, okay, do we really want to go in here? It was my idea, so. <laughs> okay. Let, and then, then the guy came out, literally came out the door. And he's like, so you guys coming in? He was, I don't know, I think he said he was around 70 years old. He didn't really look like he was 70. But his, he was barefoot. And his feet were black with dirt. So I'm not sure he washed his feet. Well, I suppose you could have washed your feet and walked in there barefoot and they'd been that black after five minutes. It was that, that dirty. <laughs> it was... You walked in, and, and the first, I mean, it's, there's just stuff everywhere, and it's all covered in dirt, 
and spider webs and it was something to see. <laughs> there were probably a million treasures in there. You just couldn't find them because everything was stacked on top of each other and it looked kind of like maybe he might have had a plan when he started 25 years ago. But I think that plan just kind of has thrown, gone out the window and things were just stacked every which way. And I was in the, everyone kind of felt like we had to keep each other within our own, you know, sight range. Or one of us might disappear into the basement never to be seen again. Um, so I went in, there was, there was the, like the main room and then there were all these little rooms and when I went into the back room and I was there were dishes everywhere and I of course I was looking for ironstone and I'm looking at this pile of dishes and my eyes are slowly coming up you know the stack and they get to about eye level and there's a spider web right in front of my face and I am nose to butt with a black spider with a red hourglass on it which is a black widow spider <laughs> yeah. and I'm like okay backing up and let's not put our hands into anything not onto the shelves because you, you couldn't tell what was lurking in the boxes or the shelves or anything so um I I got literally I think I bought some butter pats, antique butter pats, which I will show when Connie's here. They did, he did have, he did have some, did I tell you to get your stitching and a drink? Because this could ramble on a while. Do you, you want me to sit here for a minute while you go get something to drink? Okay, that's enough time. Um, he did have, my mom used to have a set of dishes that were a green and white I'm going to call it transfer wear so it was the rim had had green on it and then the center of the plate was white um I th think it was JG Meekin that made it I'm not sure but anyway she got rid of them you know they were it's kind of an avocado green so after the 80s were over, the early 70s and 80s, she ended up getting rid of those. And and uh, but he had a he had a set, and what he's told me was that it was the complete set. You know, service for what did he say? I have service for eight. I think is what he said he had. I wasn't going to pull that box out from underneath that shelf, so. <laughs> I asked him to pull it out because I was going to buy it. He was going to give me the service for eight for 50 bucks. And um, I'm kind of looking for some new dishes. And they would have would have gone in here just fine. So I had him pull them out. And I said, well, I don't see any bowls and I don't see any plates. I said, well, I know I've got them here somewhere. And I, he said, well, what would you give me for what, what I've got? And I said, I, I'm not interested in a partial. I want, I, I need, because I want to use them. I, want, I need the plates and the bowls. Uh, well, I'm sure they're here. So he went wandered off for a little while and then came back and didn't have them. So we left without those. So I just got some butter plat pats. Lori bought a few little odds and ends Connie bought something I don't think I don't I don't think Pam and Doreen did I don't think so um but it was an experience at one I don't know that we want to really repeat <laughs> it was it was not I mean you, you, I don't know that any of us felt really safe in there his wife, I think it was, was just on the other side of the wall. Like they lived there with all that dirt and the spiders. And, and she was making applesauce, offered one of us a, a taste. And we're like, mm-mm. It kind of reminded you of Hansel and Gretel. And the, 
not that she looked like a witch, but, you know, we lean over to get a taste and she'll shove us in the oven. I don't know. It, 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 yeah, we would not go back there ever. So then we were driving into Lexington and there was an antique road sign. Um, uh, so we stopped turned around and came back to that one because I looked online and it said it was open daily. Uh, we pull up and there's not really a sign anywhere saying antiques other than the one alongside the road. Um, and then finally a little old lady came out of her house and she was not real happy to see us, but she unlocked the door to the garage and the smell of mold hit you right smack dab in the middle of your I mean it was strong um it it was really strong the smell of mold so I did I ended up not buying anything she had some beautiful furniture but I also thought her prices were pretty high for the condition that everything was in so I didn't there were a couple of things I would she had some beautiful old books but they would have reached so bad of of mold that I wouldn't have brought them into my house. So I didn't get anything. I think Doreen bought some comic books and I don't know what anyone else bought. I, I went outside. So those were our adventures in antiquing. Um, we had a good time, got home late because we kept stopping places. I'm going to maybe stitch for a little bit while I'm talking to you, if if you don't mind. Um, we got home pretty late. It was, I don't know, 7 or so by the time we pulled in. and uh, But we had a good time. It was, it was a good time. And we'll probably try and do it again next year. Hopefully I'll be in better shape and able to pull my own weight. Because I did not feel like I was pulling my own weight. Um, what else? So, so yesterday after Kate and I were done filming, I'm, I'm just so you know, I'm going to stitch on something different. Not new. I haven't worked on this in a couple of years. So it's Garden Fair from Courtney Collection. And... Well, it's in the Q-snap, but you can kind of see it. I am using Carrie's Creations black silk. What what? This is like my last two skeins of it. And then uh, my favorite red is... Uh, oh, no, this isn't my favorite. My favorite red is a Gloriana, and I couldn't get it at the time, so... Uh, this is Tulip from Belsois, Classic Colorworks Belsois, which is probably my second favorite red. Um, so I'm just going to stitch on this a little bit while, while we visit uh, until you've died of boredom, and then I will go on about my day. I've done... What have I done today so far? Not a whole lot. Um, I swapped out yesterday. I've, I have a RoboVac at work and a RoboVac here. And the one I had here had a little, I don't know, three quarter of an inch thing on the back top of it. And it kept getting stuck on the underside of my furniture. And then, you know, it would couldn't get itself out so it would wear down the battery and then the floor wouldn't get done and it you know it's not those things are great for a day-to-day -day thing it helps cut down the the fur balls from rags and you know they bring in all that outside grass and debris so it it helps with that tremendously um, but then you, you do still have to vacuum regular vacuum but so yesterday while we were there for our, at the shop for our family meeting I swapped them out um, 
and brought the one from work here because it doesn't have that. And ran it this morning. <laughs> it got it. It when I brought it home, its filter was pretty dirty and stuff. So I took it took it apart and cleaned the filter and left it to dry overnight. And I put it back in this morning before I hit the start button. And um, I got to figure out where I'm at. Okay, that was easy. I actually had colored it off. So, um, hit the start button and was going on about breakfast and talking with Melanie. We usually chat every morning. Um, and I happened to glance over and he'd lost the dust collector out of his bottom. So he's running around just blowing blowing the dirt around. So so I'm like, okay, where where did that go? And I, I could not find it. I was down on my hands and knees looking under the sofa and the chairs and under the kitchen table, under the island. You know, I I, I looked everywhere and I could not find the stupid bottom part of it. Well I finally located it, it was behind the curtains out in the family room. I don't know how it ended up there, but that's where it was. Um, yeah, I won't be able to do this for very long. Um, so I got that back where it belonged and then hit the start button again. And So it did its thing. I don't think it did as good a job as what my other one did, but I could be wrong. Um Maybe it just needs to run a couple of days. Already made a mistake. Um, so I did that, and then I started. Dan is finishing up the last few things. What he told me Friday was if he could have an uninterrupted weekend, he could finish everything in the pantry. Well, he did not have an uninterrupted weekend. <laughs> There was the football game that she had to watch, and we had to have that family meeting yesterday. And, you know, Emily and Alex stopped by, and um, it seems to me there was something else he had to do. So there's still things he's working on. But it's getting close. It's getting very close. So this morning I decided... The way he built the pantry, I can no longer have my spice rack on mounted on the inside of the pantry door because the drawers come all the way out to the to where the doors are closed, if that makes any sense. Um, so I, I needed to figure out a different place for my spices and seasonings to go. So I ended up, because where we had removed the pantry in the kitchen was an empty space that we had temporarily put some cupboards in from the basement, but they didn't really fill up the space. So I ordered a couple of cabinets from Lowe's that are you put together yourself. And... I talked to Dan about it before I actually did it because I didn't want to I didn't want to make him do something else that he didn't want and I told him I said you don't you don't need to finish them you don't need to sand them I just need some place to put things until we can save up a bit to start on the kitchen and um, he said, go ahead and order the, the cabinets. And we, I ordered another, uh, what butcher block countertop and we got it for half price because when he went to pick it up, there was a big old crack in it. And he told them he would go ahead and take it if they wanted to give it to him for 50% off. And they did. So he just had a glue, he doweled it and glued it 
back together. And it's, again, it's probably just a temporary thing until we can save up. So for $500, I got a new countertop. Well, not less than that. Probably for 350 because we got the countertop for half price. So probably about 350 I got two cupboards and then the countertop. And I have finally a place to put a garbage can. 25 years we've lived here. The, there has not ever been a place to put the garbage can. The cupboard under the sink, it's just where my mom always kept hers, it was so short that, that you know, we'd be emptying the garbage can every five minutes. And if you leave it sitting out, the dogs get into it. So, you know, we'd put it on the other side of the, you see the gate right there that keeps the dogs from wandering the whole house. Um, you know, we'd sit it on the other side of the gate or we'd put it up on top of the counter or, you know, there was just no place to keep it where it had its own spot that the dogs couldn't get to. So now for the first time in 25 years, it has a cupboard. I have a double, a double, uh, garbage can and it, it pulls out from the cupboard it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't have a bag of garbage sitting on my countertop anymore. It's wonderful. Um, but then, back to the spices. <laughs> kind of got off on a tangent there. Back to the spices. Um, I don't have any place to put them, so I decided to. I'd need a drawer. And the best way to put them... I don't want to have to dig through to find what I'm looking for. So I thought a drawer would be the best place to put them. And they have these little things. I'll show them. I'm sure you're familiar with them. That put it, You put them in the drawer and you can see all your labeled spice things. So I decided this morning I would start putting some of my spices in, the, in that. So I did some of that this morning. And Dan was making fun of me because I think I ordered 36 jars, spice jars. And he's like, what do you need 36 jars for? I said, trust me, I'm going to use them all and probably then run out. And yeah, that's exactly right. I, I have run out. Well, I haven't run out of jars. <laughs> I've run out of drawer for the jars. So I don't I don't know what I'm going to do there. So that's 8 9 10 11 12 13 14. Um so I'm trying to put just the ones I use the most. And then I'll probably have to What this tells me is when we do the kitchen, I'm going to need a wider drawer to hold everything. Which is good good information to know. Um, in the meantime, this will work. I'll just put the ones less used in the pantry itself, and it'll be, it'll be fine. It will be fine. So I worked on that, talked to Melanie three or four times already this morning, talked to Dan about three times this morning, um, let the dogs out, which was a total fail on Remy's part, because, uh, you know, she has a little bit of fear. <laughs> like, she's afraid of everything. And we had, you know, that those two storms that came through earlier this summer. And people are just now getting their, their roofs replaced and, and their siding replaced. And so the neighborhood, you know... All you can hear is bang, 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 and boom, 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 boom from their nail guns. And um, getting Remy to go outside and go potty is almost impossible. She just stands there and stares at you and flinches every time. <laughs> I couldn't get her to go down the stairs, so she has not peed. Hey, do you know I'm 
You know I'm talking about you. Rem Rem, stop. Come here. Remy, quiet. Enough. She listens real well. Um, so that didn't work out so well. And then now I'm working on this. I really need to drag my sorry butt out of the house and to the grocery store. And, you know, that's the last thing I feel like doing today. I could just sit here and chat with you guys all day. But that's not going to get any of my chores done. But that's what I'd prefer to do. I just don't feel like... going to the store. I'm sure if I called Dan and, and texted him a, a list, he would stop. But really, I should be able to drag myself out. Um, let's see, what else can I chat about? Um, it's, like I said earlier, I'm still waiting on the final things from Marketplace. In case you hadn't guessed, Marketplace is not, the fall Marketplace is not my favorite thing. Um, it's a very slow process after, after you are allowed to place orders. You know, you have some people who are really Johnny on the spot and get it right out to you, and you have other people that it just seems to take forever, and then you can't send out your, you know, and it, the, the problem is, it's usually one, you know, I'm waiting on a, one chart for this person, and one chart for that person, and one chart for this person, and two charts for that person, and so you can't finish anyone's orders and get them sent out to them because their orders aren't complete and I'm pretty sure you don't want to pay shipping twice so it's just takes forever we're now what day is today the 16th halfway through September and I'm still waiting on stuff to come in uh, most of the orders themselves came in but there were some that I was shorted some that I still have one that's sitting at the post office somewhere. I think it's not probably coming. So I emailed the designer and asked her to send me the order again. One got sent to my old address. That's probably going to be returned to her at some point, I would hope. But Um, I don't know. Sometimes they go ahead, even though the, the forward has expired, sometimes they have gone ahead and delivered it to the old address. And those people, even though I left instructions if something were to show up, to go ahead and call me and I'll come and get it. Um, they have yet to call. And I have gone a couple of times when I've I know this was when it was still, the forward was still good, and it didn't get forward, it got delivered there, um, that they hadn't bothered to call. So I don't necessarily think they're going to bother. I called them. Uh, nope, nothing has been delivered here, so who knows. Um... So yeah, now I'm just waiting for the little dribs and drabs to to come in. I've contacted a lot of people whose orders were finished. Um, waiting to hear back from some of them. And uh, that then will we'll wind up Fall Marketplace. Got an email from Yarn Tree this week, or last week. They're getting ready to put their uh, cookbook together, so they started asking for 
uh, recipes for the cookbook for Nashville market. And I'm like, no, no, not yet. No, I'm not done with fall needlework. So that, that'll that be here before we know it because time just goes by so fast anymore that I'm going to turn around and it's going to be March. Um, I should do a little fall decorating around here, but... I know last year I started decorating for Christmas in October, like October 1st. And it literally took me until December 1st to be done. And then it, I was done just because I was I was over it. <laughs> like, this is it. That's all I'm doing. I have a lot of Christmas decor. And I love to decorate for Christmas, but I just don't have the time that I used to have when I wasn't working full time. Um, so I, is it, is it worth it for me to put any fall decor out when in two weeks I'll probably start dragging Christmas out? I don't know. Probably not. Do you decorate for fall? Do you decorate for Halloween? I've never, I, I know some people don't even put a tree up until like Christmas Eve. It takes me days to decorate my tree. <laughs> I can't imagine not doing it until the day before. That's a lot of work to go to for one day. Um, so I don't I don't know if I will put any fall decor up. I'm, if I had to guess, I'd say no. And let's see, what else do I know? I think that's 14. I'm not counting. I'm just looking at the pattern and finding a reference point. Now I will count. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good job. Good job. Um, what else, what else, what else? So what was your favorite thing at Marketplace if you had a favorite thing at Marketplace? I, the only thing that I purchased for myself were the wood thread keeps from Primitive Hair. I don't use them for thread keeps. I use them as decor. They're really, really pretty when you stick them in a, in a, thing with greenery or or you know there's a squirrel one that would be really cute if he's in with some acorns uh, and some fall greenery they, they just make really cute decor items and that's that's why I ordered I ordered I think the only one I didn't order was Santa because I think I have Santa from a previous year that I liked better so what did you, if if anything, did was there anything that you ordered um, There were a couple of things that I liked, but I guess I like what I'm working on more right now and didn't feel like adding them at this time. You know, I do still have my drawer of shame that I put things in. So there may be one or two things that ends up going in the drawer of shame um, and eventually coming home. But at this point, I, I had no plans to purchase any charts. I got, I got enough that I'm working on that I want to kind of get done before I, except for the, except for I'm going to start that peacock at uh, retreat for the challenge that I mentioned earlier. Um, so what I did discover when I was doing this, the seasoning thing is that I can't put a label on straight, save my soul. <laughs> 
<laughs> so they're laying so pretty in the drawer and then the labels are crooked and you know some are off to the side a little bit and some of them are lower and some of them are tall higher and <sighs> there was probably some simple hack out there somewhere that would have had me putting them on that they're just perfect but I didn't think of that until I was done so mine are crooked it's okay no one's gonna see them but me so I can live with it um, what else uh, what else what else I don't know that might be the sum total of my knowledge which is fine because this is this is 40 minutes 40 minutes already wow that's wow I thought it was maybe 15 or 20 I should be done you're tired of listening to me <laughs> good lord okay well Gee, and I was just enjoying myself, too, but I, I don't know that I can continue talking now that I know I've been on here for 40 minutes. So, all right. Well, um, if you made it this far, <laughs> thanks for listening. Thanks for keeping me company. I did get 18, 19, 22 stitches in, <laughs> and, um, you know, 22 is more than zero. <coughs> so I will let you go um, I will try my hardest to do a uh, what's the word I'm looking for chart of the day video next week um, let me know whether you in the comment section whether you found anything you liked at the, the needlework marketplace um, I, let me know whether you think I can do four days of working on one project or not. I'm not sure I can, so <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. And I'm going to probably, oh, I probably need to throw those away now. All of my empty spice things uh, are sitting here. I probably need to throw those away. I found I found some gumbo fillet that expired in 2012. I'm thinking it probably needs to be thrown away. <laughs> and my other one, it feels like I just bought a jar of it. But my other one expired in 2017. So what's that tell you? I have no concept of time anymore. It just... I blink and it's it's 42 minutes later <laughs> so anyway I hope you get some good stitching in um, I will try and do better for next week it's just kind of busy right now I'm I, I have not been able to get ready for retreat like I normally get ready for retreat I normally have a full year and it's still crunch time when you get to be a month before this year I didn't get to start until five months before because I didn't even see a picture of what it was going to be so I couldn't even couldn't do anything until I at least saw a picture so I'm kind of scrambling and I got a lot to get done before it happens um, so it may it may not It may not happen. We'll see. We shall see. I will do my best. Otherwise, you just might get me again. Um, or not, depending on if I get any stitching done. So, I I need to call the vet and order some medicine and dog food for rags so Dan can pick that up on his way home tonight. And try and drag my butt to the grocery store or place an order and then go pick it up later.
I could do that too. But anyway, you have a great day, and I will see you the next time I see you. But you take care until then. Bye-bye.